Can she have a picture? Can she have a picture? Even though she pick broke. Her up, no, I don't want to pick her up. I've been, I might have, uh, my back, my back. Ready? On our journey through the comic book jungle, guess who we found? Mr. T, the only living superhero. We want to get kids back to read. We want to take the ill out of illiteracy. We want to get the book into the into the school system. Get the book into the to the jail with the dare program, with the police and whatnot. Because the first issue is about drugs. The second issue is gonna be about uh, carjacking, peer pressure, gangs in school, guns in school, racism. We're gonna be touching on a lot of controversial things, you know. And that's what we want the book to be about. Because our book, what we touting, I'm the only real life superhero. Batman, Superman, Rifleman, Iron Man, not being disrespectful to them, they're not real. Mr. T is real. He go to schools, he go to hospitals, he feed the hungry. So that's what we're going to be doing in the book. Look, it's Mr. T with a baby. He's crying. Oh, la, la, la. That's a touching moment. Never seen that before in history of comic books. But only because you had to expect that from Mr. T because he's the only real life superhero. Not disrespectful to Superman and Batman. Not. They ain't real. Superman can't go to the west side of Chicago. Oh, they might take his cape. <laughs> and poor Batman, they'll take his car. Take Robin Mayers. And a tip for the parents. You don't have to worry about Mr. T having a weapon. I carry no weapon. So you don't have to worry about your kids saying, Mama, I want the type of gun Mr. T had. There's no gun. That's a video cam. Uh, none of my villains are space aliens, space creatures, or whatever. They're all human beings, but they're bad humans. You know, that's what the book is about. Good versus evil. Mr. T is good. The crooks is evil. They bad. You know what the T stands for? Tough and tender. To the women and children, I'm tender. To the bad guys, I'm tough. Urgh. Neil Adams is... Uh is one of the, uh, the most well-known artists. Uh, he's been around since the 60s, has, has been one of the pioneers in uh, the development of, uh, of comic books as a, an art form. And uh, we were determined that the way we would um, bring this book to the public would be in the best possible light. My promise is here. You buy this book and if you don't like it, see me and I'll personally give your money back. That's how positive we is about the book. I don't want nobody to buy the book and they're not thoroughly entertained with it. So we want to do two things. We want to entertain as well as get a message across. See, one thing about the book, a kid can pick it up and read it again and again. A parent can read it again and again to them. There's good stories in there. That's what we try to do. We take our time with the stories, you know. It's going to be positive. And thank you for your support. Next, we stopped at DC Comic Distributed Milestone Media. This New York-based comic book company features multicultural comics. What we are is a multicultural comic book publishing company. We have a distribution deal with DC, whereas we package, create, and license characters to them. They in turn hire us to do the characters, and they distribute the books for us. There's Hardware, who's a um, brilliant engineer uh, who finds out that his boss is corrupt, and. Uh, decides to like do something about it you know so he uses engineering skills to build a high-tech suit of armor to help him fight his boss and eventually the scope of his life becomes bigger than just you know being mad because his boss is evil to fighting crime in general it's a blood syndicate which is our um our uh, team book our superhero team book and that's kind of like a lot of gang members got together who had superpowers and decided to like band together to not even fight evil but just to survive there's Static, who's our 14-year-old high school student, who's um, a young black male and young black middle-class male, uh, who finds himself endowed with the same powers, or powers that he got from the same situation that the Blood Syndicate got their powers from. And um, his whole book is about responsibility. And you know, when you're young, you make a lot of choices that affect your life forever. And you start defining what's right and what's wrong. The world isn't black and white. Um, and you start making decisions, you know. It's about choices, Static is about choices. And there's Icon, who's our black conservative character in the Clarence Thomas Booker T. Washington mode. Uh, and the co-star of the book, a lady named Rocket, who's a 15-year-old young black female. You know, and uh, she's from, uh, she's lower, lower class, lower middle class, and he's like very upper, upper middle class, and the book is about the dynamics between those two. She's, basically, it's her book, and she's showing him that he has to come back and help his people. Mm, about 15 pages of a great fist fight, and then the writer does seven pages to make sure there's a real story in there, too. Uh, um, I've drawn lots of comics where people are sitting around smoking cigarettes and talking. 
I don't know. I've never bought a comic book for that. I can watch, like, Masterpiece Theater for that. We asked the Milestone Group what the difference was between a black superhero and all of the others. The difference, uh, there's a, not a difference in terms of racial characteristics, but there's importance in having a black hero out there. To say that, because comic books speak to two things. It speaks to heroism and possibilities. If you don't have black characters out there, if you don't have Asian characters out there, if you don't have Latino characters out there, the possibilities of a hero are limited. So what we wanted to do is present to society more heroes of color, uh, more heroes that come from a range of different experiences, and more heroes that are reflective of this country.